Now, from the makers of Cold Water Omo... The applause that rang through the reception room of the Bahrainian Embassy was for Mrs. Peel, who had just completed the Dance of the Seven Veils for the Crown Prince, Ali. Well, she'd completed as much of it as she was going to. Six veils. I only counted six veils. There's still one more. Oh, she was poorly educated, Your Highness. Alas, she cannot count. I would speak to this woman. Oh, certainly. Uh, Emma, over here, please. Yes, Master. What you say, we don't want to offend the offended. Mrs. Peel stepped forward, and in response to the prince's gesture, sank onto a cushion. There was an awkward silence. She is a shy one. Not much to say. Retarded. Definitely retarded. But I've taken a great fancy to her. I will buy her from you. I offer 12 goats for this woman. Oh, but, but, Your Highness, I couldn't possibly... I mean... Uh, it she... seems, Your Highness, that the British have no respect for your wishes. Now, if it were my government that was so request... I, I, I was about to say that I couldn't possibly accept anything. No, no goats, no, not a thing. No, if you like her, she's yours. I, I give her to you. You can put her into your harem at any time. Ah, it is agreed, then. Vizier? Oh, great one, I am here. Take her. Go with him, woman. I shall be along later. The Avengers. John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. South African housewives are delighted with the sparkling clean wash they get from cold water Omo. Like Mrs. Connie Goldie of the Innocent. Well, I found myself without any hot water one Monday morning. Yes. So I dashed out and I bought a packet of cold water Omo. And I've never been without cold water Omo since. Yes, once an Omo user, always an Omo user. Omo cleans best. Over one million South African housewives have proved it. To keep your complexion soft and smooth, choose Lux with its creamy, moisturizing lather and precious perfume. Lux, a beauty treatment as you bathe. Episode 7, the final episode of this story, in which John Steed and Emma Peel managed to arrange an effective, if rather noisy, end to... The Fantasy Game. John Steed had discovered the method to be used in the attempt upon the life of Crown Prince Ali of Bahrain. The late Mr. Ponsonby Hopkirk of QQF, Inc. had worked it all out. The plan was based on the famous story of Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves. The killer was to be smuggled into the Bahrainian embassy in a large honey jar. Forty of these jars had been delivered and deposited in the prince's harem. One of them contained the assassin. As no man other than the prince was allowed into the harem, Steed had coerced and tricked Mrs. Peel into joining the prince's 130-odd wives. Mrs. Peel, thrust through the door of the harem, wasn't very pleased with John Steed. If I ever get my talons on Steed, he's going to have scars to show for quite some time. So this is how they do it, do they? Mrs. Peel walked down what was virtually a corridor of little draped cubicles. Above these cubicles were small, tastefully engraved plaques. Sharon, Mona, Ruth. Oh, dear. All we need to come across now is a duty roster. Mrs. Peel walked the length of the corridor, and opening another small door, found herself in a large storeroom. Storeroom. This is more like it. Ah, large ornamental jars. Approaching the jars cautiously, Mrs. Peel inspected them. Bumble's best honey keeps your strength up. Well, let's see what it contains. Hmm. 
Honey, all right. Well, if there's a man hidden in there, I don't fancy his chances. One down, 39 to go. In the main reception hall, the dinner party was over. The guests had left, and only John Steed and Arkady were seated on cushions near the prince. Steed was working hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very amusing, Mr. Steed. <laughs> very amusing, old boy. <laughs> Mm. Uh, another drink, Your Highness, and um, please uh, tell me more about your camels. Mm, I fear we are detaining Your Highness. Your, your Highness must be extremely tired. Your first reception, you must be anxious to retire. Oh, yes, as a matter of fact, oh, I will... Oh, come, come, the evening is young, and, and all this is so entertaining. Well, there is uh, entertainment and uh, entertainment, Steve, eh? <laughs> yes, well, before we take our leave, may I be allowed to offer Your Highness a small gift? Steed produced a small portable tape recording machine and placed it next to the prince. Uh, just press the button, Your Highness. Ah, oh, like this? Strokes it into the covers and Karu feels there's no run. Ah, oh, cricket! With 216 to yeah. 5, cricket. 80 runs behind. And Gibbs again into bowl to close. It's a full commentary of the last test match. That is kind, most kind. We're pleased to accept, Mr. Steed. Uh, do you play cricket, Mr. Arkady? No, 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 alas, no, I, I don't. Oh, it's the most pleasant of games. Um, actually, th this is a double tape. You press this button on the other side and it plays the second track, uh, like this, especially recorded for you, Your Highness. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Makes me quite homesick. Uh, but you carry your home with you wherever you go, Your Highness. Your whole entourage awaits you. Oh, yes, 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 you are right, Arkady. The prince switched off the recorder and yawned once again. Oh, I fear you're right, Arkady. I, I am rather tired. Uh, in that case, we ask permission to withdraw. Oh, uh, yes, yes. I, I think I'll cut along now. But, but this excellent liqueur isn't half finished yet. Oh, I... no need for you to rush off. The two of you can stay and get better acquainted. Uh, it's been a very pleasant evening. Thanks. The prince made for the door of his harem. Steed moved after him. But, but your majesty, I... Stay! The prince disappeared inside. The door closed. The guards barred Steed's way with crossed scimitars. You're on your own now, Mrs. Peel. At that particular moment, Mrs. Peel, having worked her way through inspecting half the stone jars, was searching yet another. Empty. So Steed was right. Let's see. Yes, breathing holes drilled into the earthenware. So the killer is in the harem. Loose. In here at the moment, but where? Emma. Emma, little star of the east. Oh, no. Now for it. Your prince is here. Your prince is here. If the assassin's waiting, he couldn't be given a better chance. Prince is waiting. Princey's waiting for his Emma. Princey Wincy's coming to get you. Oh, Princey Wincy will get a sick ear if he tries anything on. Mrs. Peel ducked into one of the cubicles, one that bore the name Miffy, number 238. The harem girl lay back on a lace coverlet. She was bound and gagged. So he's around here somewhere. Emma, my patience is running thin. Show yourself, woman. That is a command. Mrs. Peel stepped out into the corridor. Emma, Emma, my eastern star. The prince held out his arms... Mrs. Peel, looking beyond him, saw an arm stretched out from the drapes of another cubicle. She rushed forward, knocking the prince flying. <laughs> Mrs. Peel grabbed at the gun arm and yanked Vincent out into the corridor like a ball from a cannon. She hurled him into the stone jars. <laughs> Mrs. Peel, following through, rushing after Vincent, the prince picked himself up and watched in horrified amazement as Vincent snatched a scimitar from the wall. Right. It's about time I settle things with you once and for all. Vincent advanced on the helpless Mrs. Peel. Mrs. Peel kicked a honey jar over and rolled it at him. Ah! It tripped Vincent and gave Mrs. Peel time to snatch another scimitar from the wall. They fought. The prince winced as Vincent slashed out at Mrs. Peel. Mrs. Peel sidestepped and gave a powerful sweep with her scimitar. Crashed into Vincent's, knocking it from his hand. Mrs. Peel stepped forward and, placing the point of her sword at Vincent's throat, forced him back against the stone wall. Right. Start talking. Who's behind all this? Come on, talk. It was, it was Arkady. Arkady's idea. 
Argo, Argo is the man you want. Say that louder. Loud enough for everyone to hear. Come on. Steed and Arkady were still in the reception room. They'd heard the terrific noise from within the harem, and then the voice. Uh, it's Arkady. Arkady is the man you want. He, he planned to kill the prince. I'll prove it. Steed looked at Arkady, who made for the exit. Steed grabbed him. No, no, you don't. Steed got hold of Arkady's evening jacket by the sleeves. Arkady merely slipped out of the coat and legged it for the exit, just as Mrs. Peel, having stopped only to lay out Vincent with the flat of her scimitar, appeared from the harem. Steed? Steed, where's Arkady? Gone. There's no great rush. I know where to find him. Look at this appointment slip in his pocket. Read it. QQF, Inc., fantasy number four, subject, escape of Arkady from pursuing agents. Come on. My friend... But, my friend, I, I don't know what this is all about. But clearly, you've saved my life. Anything I have is yours. My, my, my jewels, my horses... No, 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 really. My favourite wife... Oh, well, in that case... Oh, I'm... come on, Steed. You can't have me and a favourite wife. <laughs> In the QQF, Arkady ransacked the drawers of the desks and searched all the filing cabinets, spilling papers all over the place. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. Ah, a forged passport. And an airplane ticket just in time. Just too late. What? Arkady swung round, gun at the ready. But Mrs. Peel, who was standing quite close, holding the trick Aladdin's lamp, merely smiled sweetly and gave the lamp a rub. He recoiled with surprise, and through the smoke haze, John Steed appeared with his umbrella. He swung it up quite high and brought it down on the back of Arkady's neck. <coughs> Nicely timed, Steed. You were... Mrs. Peel broke off, peered through the haze. Steed had disappeared. Mrs. Peel looked down at the floor. There was a pause. And then, the sound of Steed's umbrella banging beneath. Quite fantastic. Some days later, sitting on the carpet in Steed's apartment... Well, Prince Ali signed the oil treaty. It's amazing. After all, we didn't succeed in keeping the murder attempt from him, did we? Yes, the top brass weren't too pleased about it, actually. We've got a firm lecture. Oh, well. It was bound to happen someday. I always knew we'd end up on the carpet. Ah, but if you're with me, it's always a magic carpet, Mrs. Peel. Goat's milk or champagne? has Erlium, an amazing discovery that actually polishes teeth so sparkling clean and white, dulling film can't find a hole. Feel the difference with your tongue. You wonder where the dullness went when you polish your teeth with Pepsodent. New Pepsodent, the white toothpaste you can feel working. Pepsodent, 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 Pepsodent. Avengers. Listen every evening, Monday to Friday, to John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers, brought to you by the makers of Cold Water Omos. <laughs>